everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Tombstone Tourist. This week, I'm back at historic Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond, Virginia. For this episode, I've moved to the far west side of the cemetery, where a number of historic figures are buried, along with two U.S. presidents, James Monroe and John Tyler, and the only Confederate president, Jefferson Davis. This week, we're going to visit the grave of a man that you're probably not familiar with. When most people here in Virginia hear the name Lee, they immediately think of General Robert E. Lee. But today, I'm going to visit another notable member of the Lee family, a man whose family tree reads like a who's who of notable Virginians. The man that served as the 40th governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia, I'm going to visit the grave of Fitzhugh Lee. Fitzhugh Lee was born on November 19, 1835 in Fairfax County, Virginia. He was the grandson of Light Horse Harry Lee, who serves as the ninth governor of Virginia and was the father of General Robert E. Lee. Fitzhugh was a nephew of General Lee and a cousin of George Washington Custis Lee, and his mother, Anna Mason, was the granddaughter of George Mason. The Lees were an influential family in Virginia for generations. Fitzhugh Lee grew up in Northern Virginia where he attended high school and was appointed to the United States Military Academy. He graduated from West Point in 1856 and was commissioned a second lieutenant. He fought in the Indian Wars where he was severely wounded and took several months to recover. Following his recovery, he returned to West Point and taught cavalry tactics until 1861. Like his uncle, Fitzhugh was loyal to Virginia and at the start of the Civil War, he resigned his commission and entered the Confederate Army as a cavalry lieutenant serving under the command of Major Richard Ewell. A short time later, he was transferred to the 1st Virginia Cavalry under the command of Major General Jeb Stewart. Fitzhugh endeared himself to General Stewart on July 24, 1862, at the young age of 27, he was promoted to Brigadier General and assumed the command of a cavalry brigade. He participated in the Maryland Campaign, covering the withdrawal of the Confederate infantry from South Mountain, and delayed the Union's army advance toward Sharpsburg before the Battle of Antietam. Lee participated in the Battle of Chancellorsville in May of 1863, and during the Battle of Gettysburg, General Stewart called Lee one of the finest cavalry officers on the continent. Following Gettysburg, Lee fought in the Shenandoah Valley under General Jubal Early. He was wounded during the Third Battle of Winchester. Then, following the death of General Jeb Stewart at Yellow Tavern, Fitzhugh Lee became General Robert E. Lee's cavalry commander a position he held until the end of the war. After the war, Fitzhugh lived a quiet life of a farmer for almost 20 years. But in the early 1800s, he began a political career and was elected the 40th governor of Virginia, serving from 1885 until 1889. After leaving the governor's office, he returned to farming, but in 1896, he was appointed to the position of Consul General in Havana, a position he held until 1898. With the Spanish-American War on the horizon, Fitzhugh returned to the United States and joined the United States Volunteers. He returned to military service as a Major General in command of the 7th Corps, but took no part in operations in Cuba. This would be his final military assignment. He retired from the military in 1901. In retirement, Fitzhugh returned to his farm in Northern Virginia, but a short time later he was called upon to serve as the chairman of the Jamestown Expedition Company that was formed to commemorate the 300th anniversary of the first permanent English settlement at Jamestown. On April 28, 1905, while on a business trip to Washington, D.C., Fitzhugh Lee suffered a heart attack and died. 
He was 69 years old. He was laid to rest here in Hollywood Cemetery, just a few steps from the grave of Confederate President Jefferson Davis. I'm going to end this video here at the grave of Governor Fitzhugh Lee in Richmond's Hollywood Cemetery. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll ring that bell and subscribe, and if you're so inclined, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Now, until next week, remember, life is a wonderful journey. Be sure to take time and enjoy it, and I'll see you down the road. So long, everybody.